You guys are not gonna believe what store I'm at. Well, actually, you probably already know from the title of the video. We are at Walmart. I can't wait to go in, search the aisles, and find some items to DIY. has a ton of great home decor selections. I love these little like metal orbs. I'm gonna grab one of these, but look at how nice this boxwood is here. And then they've also started to carry several like different little succulents. These are already put together for you. Walmart has a bunch of different tablecloths, placemats. Like this one right here would be great to wrap around like a planter or a jar. Let's see what else we can find. That one's cute. That's kind of like a rug that I have. You could definitely use that. Oh, I love this one, this jute twine. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is $2.87. I'm thinking we get a couple of these and do a wall hanging DIY. So I think I'm gonna grab, let's grab three. I have a DIY in mind using a bunch of Walmart yarn. They have a whole aisle so you can pick any color you like. Love this yarn, think it's gonna be great with our placemats. I think these placemats are so cute on their own, but I wanted to create a wall hanging with them. So I'm just gonna start by removing the tags that are on the back. I also grabbed some yarn that's a little bit thicker that I'm gonna use for this project as well. So I laid them out and I want to connect them with the yarn. So I measured out how long I wanted the pieces to be, then I kind of tied them in place. Once I held that up, I realized that did not look good, so we needed plan B. So I decided to just hot glue the yarn to the back and make sure you couldn't see it from the front. Now I measured out the distance that I put the top one so that I could do the exact same thing to the bottom one, and I just put yarn pieces in as well. Now that ended up looking so much better. <laughs> I added some additional construction style adhesive glue and some tape just to really hold it in place so that when I hung it on my wall, it wouldn't go anywhere. And the tape I'm using, it looks like painter's tape, but it's really duct tape. I also created a little hanger at the top. I wanted to paint on these placemats, so I found a plate that was like almost a perfect size circle. So I put that on the center one and traced around the plate. Now for the top portion, I wanted to create a half circle, and then I wanted to create a half circle at the bottom going the opposite direction. I'm gonna be using a green paint that I already had on hand. Now, whenever you're painting on fabric or something like this, like jute, you actually have to use quite a bit of paint because the fabric soaks up the paint quite a bit, but I'm just using a two inch angled brush to kind of get around the edges and just follow the lines that you created, making sure that you cover those lines. Once I put the paint on, I realized it was way too green. I did not like the color. So then I decided, okay, let's try moss green. No, I didn't like that. So then I mixed the moss green with a little bit of gray and didn't really like that either. I ended up going with a kind of bluish turquoise color. So don't be afraid of paint, you guys. You can always paint over stuff. I just go for it and I try it. And if it doesn't work out, I can always change the color. And 
And here's how it looks hanging up on my wall. I'm glad that I ended up changing it to the blue because that green was just not working out. <laughs> So I really love this round mirror. It's $54, but it has a nice wood like frame to it. And this round mirror style is really in right now. I just spotted these really cute lamps, you guys. This one I love. It's priced at $100, but that's, you know, in line with what you find it at other stores. I also have a lamp like this in my living room that kind of, oh, what do they call those? It's like an ARF lamp. This one's $112. this one's pretty you guys check out these placemats if you're wanting any like DIY materials I feel like you could do so much with these I'm gonna grab this white and gray placemat So I have to be honest, I wasn't sure if this project was going to turn out. So I started by just removing all the tags from the placemat. Next, I wanted to open up the placemat on one side. So I didn't have my seam rippers, so I used one of my Cricut tools just to rip open the seam on one side. And I find that it's best to do this with the side that they stitched last. It usually just comes up better. I'm going to open it up about halfway. This next part, I was a little unsure if it was gonna work out or not because I had to get both of the fabrics away from each other and they kind of pressed them together, but I was able to kind of work it so that I could remove the fabrics without damaging anything. I used one of my scraper tools just to kind of help me separate the fabric. Next, I'm going to be using a lumbar support pillow that I already had on hand to put inside of this placemat. I really love the fabric of this placemat and I thought it would make a great pillow for just $2. Now you could stitch this back up, but I wanted to show you how to do this so easily. So I'm just going to hot glue it together on the sides. You wanna make sure that it's put together really well. If you need to add some additional hot glue, go ahead and do that as well. But look how great this looks as an accent pillow on my couch. I think it looks great either way. If you guys wanna see more Walmart DIY videos, make sure to hit that like button. I love the design on these baskets. I think that's really cute. So you can grab embroidery hoops at Walmart. I have an idea for an embroidery hoop DIY. So for this project, you're going to need two embroidery hoops. You're also going to need yarn. This is yarn I already had on hand, and you're also going to need some beads. This is really a project you could change up with things that you had on hand. I'm gonna separate the embroidery hoops because I just want to use the pieces that don't have the clamp on there. So I'm gonna start by lacing on some beads with my yarn. I'm using a toothpick to help me thread the yarn through. Next, I'm going to wrap it around my larger hoop and tie it in place. But I do my best to bring dreams of green and filled with this life is so Then I'm going to add an additional bead and then wrap around the smaller hoop and tie that in place. I'm gonna add a few more beads, tie that in place. 
I wanted to create a loop at the top so that I could hang this on the wall. I love creating pieces like this because you can really just change the look of it so much by adding different colored yarn or just changing the beads that you add on there. Now I wanted to make this yarn fluffy. I tried to use a hairbrush, that didn't work. So I ended up using this comb that was in one of my makeup brush sets and that worked okay, but wasn't my favorite. I kind of scrapped that look and just started adding additional yarn pieces to create a little tassel at the bottom. I didn't want to have a huge tassel, but just a little bit of yarn hanging down. I'll be fine and you'll be gone when nothing's like home. And I'll cut that off so it's even. Next, I wrapped some yarn pieces around one of my cutting mats so they were all the same size. And then I'm going to add those to the bottom of my embroidery hoop. I brushed them all out so that I could cut it at the bottom. I didn't want to cut them straight across, so I just kind of did a swoop. So I just found something really cool. You guys know how it's hard sometimes to label your baskets? Well, these are basket labels that you can just clip on the top of your baskets. They have ones that are clear acrylic. They also have a black metal one and then a white one. I'm gonna get a few. <laughs> Fail. Okay, take two. I'm gonna get a few of these and show you how they work. I think they're pretty cool. Wow, you guys, these basket labels are a game changer. I think they are so cool because it's so hard to attach labels to a basket and these are so easy. Now you could definitely make, you know, fancy labels on your Cricut. All I did was just write them out. Each of these labels come with like three different pieces of white cardstock that you can write your different labels on, which I think is so cool. I just used a Sharpie to add my labels and then I'm going to attach them to my baskets. I was trying to figure out exactly where to put them, but how cute are these? I think this lamp is pretty cool. It's priced at $34.88, but I love the shade on it. It has the easy on, or it has the touch sensor to turn it on. $2 for a pack of dowels and I'm gonna make the coolest looking wall hangers. So I wanted to create a coat hanger. This piece I actually got from the Goodwill bins and the dowel rods are from Walmart. I'm gonna start by painting the piece that I got. I'm using milk paint in the color Blue Moon by General Finishes. I really love this paint. It's available on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys down in the description box. But I'm just gonna do one good coat on the entire piece, top and bottom. I will look at you and tell you that I'm all right, like a ricochet, it will come back to you. Let me tell you, no, because my eyes are I love that Walmart carries these large dowel rods, so I figured out how far I wanted them to be, and I just measured them to four inches. Next, I'm going to cut my dowel rods down to size. And then I wanted some leather pieces to be hanging down, so I measured how long I needed the pieces to be, and I cut four strips. This little silver tool I'm using is actually from Dollar Tree and it's great for measuring items. Uh -huh. 
So next I'm gonna be using this rotary cutter that's from Dollar Tree 2 that, guys, it's great. Like if you haven't tried it, give it a try. This is cutting leather here. And the leather pieces I got off of Amazon, those will be linked below as well. So I cut the pieces down a little bit so they fit better on my coat hanger. Then I came in with my drill and I just drilled holes to the bottom. Next, I'm gonna be using some drywall screws that I had on hand and I'm gonna put the drywall screws in till they get to the front side. So with the leather piece, I cut the corners of it and then I hot glued it right underneath where I was going to be screwing in the dowel rod. I added a little hole to the bottom side of my dowel rod. I'm gonna hold the dowel rod in place and add in the screw. And I'll repeat this step with the other three hangers. And here's a look at how it turned out on my wall. Now, if you guys love DIYs, make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I post new videos on Mondays and Thursdays. And if you really love DIYs, I actually have a second channel called Liz from McDaily where I post videos every single day. Now, these are short videos, usually around three to five minutes. So they're really quick and fun. So I'm gonna put a link down to Liz from McDaily in the description box. So go there, make sure you follow me over there so you just get the new videos showing up in your feed. So I'm restocking right now on some of my favorite paints. I always need an ink by Waverly. I always need their white color. I have this color, but I use a lot of the mineral. Lately, I've been using this fawn color as well. Every time I come to Walmart, it seems like I need to pick up a flat white and a flat black of my spray paint that I use in all my DIYs. I really like this eucalyptus stem. It looks pretty realistic. I love that it has little pink on this. I'm pretty sure this is new for spring and Walmart has some of the best prices on their stems. This is $3.88. So Walmart has a great selection of plants. You guys probably already know that, but they also have indoor plants this time of year. This one I've never seen before. I think it's adorable. I'm gonna grab this as an indoor plant. It comes with a nice pot and it's around $18. They also have a bunch of larger plant options as well. So check it out. Make sure you go to this section next time you're in Walmart. All right, you guys, these Better Homes and Gardens planters are adorable. This white one is cute. I think it's for about five bucks. And then look at this one right here, this little hanging planter. These are really cute. And then I also like this basket weave. That's different. I don't know, which one should we get? Part of me wants to get these. I also like the basket weave. And then they also have these bigger ones down here that you can get to put like larger plants, snake plants in them. We just found that one in a larger size as well. Let me know down in the comments which project I did was your favorite and I'll talk to you on our next one. Bye.